Hello everyone, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and I'm working on my leaf box for the trailer. So pretty basic tools. I've got my my skill saw, tape measure, impact, square pencil, Torx bit, screws. Uh, went and got two inch treated Torx screws because I'm going to be screwing 5 8 plywood to inch and a half thick one buys and so I didn't want two and a halfs because they will stick out so got those um, what I'm doing right now is I've just dropped so over the fender well these two by fours I can just drop in and they stop at the fender well there's a drain hole um, but that's the only thing that stops them and on the rest of them what I'm doing is I'm marking up two feet and putting a, a screw and so basically that 2 by is just resting on the screw on the trailer. And that keeps them from dropping all the way down past the bottom of the pocket. So that keeps it from dropping down past the bottom of the pocket. And some of these pockets have lights fabbed into them. And so I've got the 2 by 4 stopped about here, which is 2 feet. So that works out pretty good. Um, not getting close to any of my wiring or anything like that what I'm going to do is set mine up to where the door opens with the gate so basically the back door will be a double door show you what I did on the plywood real quick so this sheet is ran right up even with the bed so the next sheet will actually go inside that and that'll make my corner uh, the way this trailer is laid out so I keep finding things I like about this trailer uh, it just man this thing's built nice but so the center pocket is dead center of the 16 foot trailer so that two by four in that center pocket both of those sheets landed halfway on that two by four i mean it, it could not have worked out any more perfect if i had planned it that way and i didn't even realize that until i started measuring out thinking that i was going to have to cut something somewhere or you know make up a make up a gap and it turned out perfect so uh, what I did on this end, it, I did the same thing. I brought it all the way to the end. So basically the way this is going to work is when the door shuts, you know, the plywood will be on the inside. So when the door shuts, the plywood will tighten up against the inside corner and that'll make the corner at the door. Oh, and another thing too. Um, so these screws, I left these screws out, you know, we talked about so the two by four wouldn't just fall to the bottom of the pocket. Well, those screws sticking out about an inch are actually the perfect ledge to set the sheet of plywood on. So, you know, picture it on this side. I've already taken those screws out so it can settle to the top of the trailer. But when I set those sheets in place, you know, before I could get a screw in them or anything, I could set them on those three screws like a ledge. And then all I've got to do is hold against it and it's not, it's not going to fall down on me. So... I can get a couple screws in it and we're good to go. So that worked out really nice as well. Just uh, one of those little helpful tent, helpful tips if you're doing this yourself. I got the door done, or at least done so far. Obviously, I'm still going to have to go up farther on top, but let me show you what I did. Show you from this side, and then I'll show you from the other side. Now this. This comes out past, this 2x2 two two comes out past the plywood about half an inch. And you'll see why when I close that. But, so this is, this is even, well, it's in just a little bit, but this is where the other door would close. So, you know, I don't want this sticking out past it. So I've got that. So here's what I did on the inside. I just cut out around these as tight as I could because I don't want, again, I don't want dust coming out everywhere. Okay, and then you see the offset here, like I said, about half an inch. Okay, and then just cut out a moon shape piece for the uh, pipe. I actually had it up against the pipe and just traced it so it fit right in there nice. And actually that pipe is going to help keep this piece in place because the pipe is just is just touching it. So anyway, uh, enough of me gabbing. Let me close this and we'll show you what it looks like. So 
from in here when you're closing you can see how it's closing up the gap and this is what it's going to do it's going to hit on the inside of the sides okay and i don't have the door completely closed because it actually sits on the frame so there we go so when it's all the way closed that is nice and tight seals up against there really good and it's the full width of the plywood against this and then the two by two actually overlaps just a little bit so i'll get out there and show you that part there's a little bit better look at the tube that's in there pretty good and like i said you know that kind of helps sturdy up the door because it's actually on that tube so that tube is kind of helping keep it in place so that worked out good but right here so I mean, there's a little bit of a gap but not much there's no air gap though that's the thing there shouldn't be any dust coming out of that because i mean that is that is up against there about as good as it can get um, especially up at the top so and again you know this comes out just a little bit um, so it kind of about half overlaps the side sheet so it's pretty clean um, check it out I think I finally have the leaf box done with the exception of one thing so let's check it out since the last time I videoed I added a couple things I, I put a 2 by 4 across the bottom front for support uh, of course I, I trimmed everything off at the top of the plywood and I'll show you this on the inside but if you look at the top of the post you can see those two they're actually a T30 Torx screw, and I'll show you what those look like. And that's what I use to attach the cross members. So the back doors are done. Uh, let me let me show you this one because it's it's over here open. And basically, I made these both the same way, uh, with you know a little bit of exception. I haven't ran any kind of bracing across the top and I think I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and you know if the plywood starts to get wavy or, or anything then I'll add a piece across the top but for now I think we're good um, added this 2 by 2 across the bottom here and really that was just to seal a little bit of a gap so that when you're back here operating you don't have dust blowing out on you or hopefully not as much dust anyway did the same thing right here and then on this side of the door it has this piece on the inside and so shut the door real quick and show you so when you close the door basically that closes the gap so that closes right up against that and uh, takes care of that air gap so both doors when they close this inside edge butts up against the side nice and tight the, uh, these are the T30 Torx screws that I used. So where my two by fours go across the top, I've got two of these in each end through the outside two by four, the plywood, and then into the end of the two by fours. So, I mean, it's got, you know, half of that screw at least into the two by four. So it ought to be nice and solid, strong. Uh, I ended up using almost two pounds of the uh, two inch Torque screws, the T25s. Oh, here's my here's my tarp, um, eight by sixteen mesh tarp. So that's going to be going on the top here here shortly. Uh, that's the next thing I'm doing, but I wanted to kind of show everything to you to you guys. And so here's what I ended up doing. So my tube went over the top of the plywood, and I had to figure out a way to keep that from eating through my tarp, you know, making a big mess without going higher on the sides because I was already as high as I wanted to go. So I went to my local, uh, actually, Heritage Tractor. So I know not everybody's going to have a, a place that they can get this at. Um, you can order it online, but what it is is 8-inch inside diameter uh, vacuum hose. It's a heavy rubber with a heavy plastic rib reinforcement. Um, of course, it's on the discharge side, so it won't get quite as much abuse as the actual vacuum hose. And then I used one of those T30 Torx screws 
a shorter one. It's like a two, two and a half inch one. Went right up through it, and so it's just basically hanging there. And so what that has done now is it's it's brought the flow out of the tube into this tube and directing it back into the trailer so that I can now put my mesh on top and not have any issues. So that's what I that's what I did there. And then everywhere there's a two by four coming up, there's a two by four going across, which ended up being five. So and then I did a little bit more up here in the front. So I put this piece in the corner in the front. It's just a two by two from top to bottom, screwed in from the outside. Uh, when I take everything apart, I'll probably leave it on the side piece. And then I also put in a two by four block here. And that's just to kind of keep the top front, you know, nice and straight. And, and also when pressure starts to build up from, you know, leaf debris, uh, that'll keep that from trying to push out. So, so anyways, that's, that's what I've done guys. And I was talking to a buddy of mine because my, my next big issue, if you will, or the next big thing I had to figure out was when I go to take all of this off, how am I going to do it by myself? Uh, without taking it completely apart. I mean, obviously I'll have to take the, the boards off the top. I have to take these part of sections at a time, but I didn't want to take all the two by fours off and, you know, it'd be a nightmare trying to put it all back together. So I was just kind of spitballing ideas with one of my buddies and he mentioned um, everywhere there's a two by four. So this, this is a full sheet right here, full eight foot sheet. And it is heavy, okay? Just the sheet by itself is heavy. And he said, what if you came on the center of this two by four and you ripped your plywood sheet in half? So then you would have that section, this section, you know, basically four foot sections to deal with instead of full eight foot sections. And I'm like, perfect. That's, that's exactly what I need to do. So when I go to take this apart, I'm going to take my screws out of the middle and I'll, I'll do two screws. Each, each place there's a screw, I'll just do one to each side of it and then uh, be able to rip that, that sheet in half and have four foot sections to deal with. So that's going to be my game plan for when I go to remove this and we'll see how that works. But it should make the, uh, you know, the weight uh, of taking these out a lot more manageable. And they'll be exactly four foot sheets. So it should make this, uh, make this pretty easy. So other than getting my tarp on guys, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, the leaf box is done. It's uh, it's nice and solid. It ended up being six foot tall, so I can walk right under these. I can walk right under these two by fours without without smacking my head into them, and because uh, I'm five ten. So, <laughs> but anyway, six foot of capacity. You know, seven by sixteen trailer. So I've got all kinds of space to fill up here. So now. I'm gonna get my tarp on. So I've got it, I just used the existing eye holes in the tarp and I've got it attached across the front right on top of that uh, front sheet. And then it hangs over almost a foot on both sides. You know, again, this is an eight by 16 and the, the mesh tarp stretches quite a bit. So it's just uh, up over the tube in the back. Of course, I don't have it attached on the back because of the doors I can't attach it to the doors and this side and here uh, don't know if this is how I'm gonna run it but temporarily this works pretty good so I just poke the handle up through there this handle sits right on that ledge on the door and it's uh, it's there I mean I could drive down the road and not have to worry about it so so the uh, tube and the support arm and everything are in place so all i lack now is putting some fuel in it and uh going out and doing a cleanup so hopefully the weather will dry out soon and i can go do that so that's all for now guys as always thank you for watching get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one